Hello everybody and welcome to another North American Elite Wrestling Show. This is your host Danny Jackpot and this is NAEW 4 Score. We got four big matches here tonight. The first, a Maple Leaf Championship match between the reigning champion Al Cabrera, Johnny D, and Connor James. As Al Cabrera makes his way down the ring right now. Al Cabrera had teamed with Johnny D in, in, with a, in a losing effort to Extreme Tony and Marcus Carter in the tag team tournament. Once again, opponents tonight, Al Cabrera was able to defeat Johnny D in a 20 minute Ironman match, the final score being 4 3, I believe. Al Cabrera, the Maple Leaf champion. Could you imagine what a loss it would be for Al if you were to lose his belt in his first defense? I know a lot of guys are gunning for that Maple Leaf Championship like Lester Barkley. Lester Barkley has a chance to earn himself a title match tonight though. As if him or Extreme Tony and the, the, uh, and the six man tag made a bet against the Crusade along with Mason Chronic. One of those three get the pinfall. Well, if the two, if the two that's not the champion get the pinfall, they'll get a chance at the championship match next week or at the next NAW 5 show uh, against Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic wins. He gets a pinfall. He's Joe Omega, one on one in a cage, non-title. And finally, if the Crusade get a pinfall tonight, Joe Omega will get the heavyweight championship shot, not in a cage either. As Connor James makes his way down to the ring right now, it's Connor. Connor James. Connor James. Says that he could win this Maple Leaf Championship shot. He should have been in the championship match last week. Well, NAEW management has heard his heard his cries. And guess what? He has now earned himself somehow a shot with those cries. Maybe he can shut the critics up. Maybe he, Connor James, can prove the world what he's been saying is right. And win this Maple Leaf Championship shot. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. As I cough there, folks. Connor James telling the fans off there. Al Cabrera, Connor James, these two guys never really have seen eye to eye and call, I'll tell you that. Commentary partners though, I've seen, I've heard them on the commentary booth to, and, they, and, they, and they get along in the booth well enough to make a good team. As here comes Monster Hunter Johnny D. Monster Hunter Johnny D. A man who is trying to still prove himself in this call world. Dan, the big boss right there by the nameplate there. No, 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 no Johnny D being said there. Huh. Interesting enough. Can't do anything about that though right now. Al Cabrera looking on. Don't forget this man was in a, has been an opponent, partner, and once again now opponent for the Maple Leaf Championship. Or teaming in, the round, in round one in the losing effort once again in the United States Tag Title Tournament. What are the brackets? I have been told to read them off here. The fraternity is going to take on the team of. Fraternity is going to take on the team of. Mark, Mark, Va Va Mark Valander and Butch Polbag. The, the fraternity versus Mark Valander and Butch Polbag. Then you'll have Stephen Ray and Juliana also taking on the team of. Man. I'm sorry, I'm at the brackets right now. <laughs> oh, that's a big screw up right there. I can't remember the brackets currently. We'll have to move on without knowing the brackets right now. That'll just happen. I'll get the brackets to you guys here soon. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. All right, wait a second. I'm getting yelled at by an AEW manager for not knowing the brackets. I know the brackets now. It's going to be the fraternity taking on Mark Bo Mark Valander and Butch Polbag. We're going to have the Crusade taking on Stephen Ray and Angeliana. We're going to have Extreme Tony and Lester Berkeley taking on Damage Gage. And finally, we're going to have Connor James and... Connor James and... Lester LaMarcus Le Carter taking on the team of... Ossiani and Sean Dynasty. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. I'm management has yelled at me as this Maple Leaf Championship match is underway. You got the odd pairing of Al Cabrera and Connor James teaming up here. I would have never guessed those two would be uh, in a joint effort as a team. But they are definitely double teaming Johnny D right now.
Which one of these three men could walk away as the Maple Leaf champion? Al Cabrera defending his title. In a AW4 score going on right now. Other big matches we have planned here tonight. The Bloodline going to take on Mark Valander and Butch Polbag. We also have Ossie Andy taking on LaMarcus Carter. The winner getting a shot at the Maple Leaf Championship. So you'll see who will get the Maple Leaf Championship shot next. And you'll also see that six-man tag I talked about when the Crusades, Joe Omega, Norm Daly, and TJ Nicholson take on the NAAW World Champion, Mason Chronic, Extreme Tony, and Lester Barkley, who had just won that CXWI Big Ol' Rumble. And face first to the mat, Al Cabrera goes due to Connor James' big move there. But a hurricane run up by Johnny D, Al Cabrera's up. Spinning back kick. What's Al got planned? Big, big kitchen sink there. Second kitchen sink there. And then a swing and neck breaker. Johnny D going for it. What was that? It looks like, look, look like a. Look like a chop lock. Rope break there though. These three men competed for the Maple Leaf Championship. Johnny D and Connor James now working together. Who what well, strange pairings in this match, but become Maple Leaf champion. Do you, you you'll see those strange pairings. You gotta think. Whoever loses this match with the number one contenders, unless you're Al, you almost have a guaranteed re you don't you almost don't get a shot at this belt. And Al would already have to wait in line. If he does lose. And these three men brawling on the outside. Connor James taking Al Cabrera. Whoa! Face first in the table! And the table breaks! What just happened? Connor James just taking out Al Cabrera. I can't believe what I just seen. But here we got. I'm just I'm I'm completely in shock right now about what I just seen. These three men still competing for the Maple Leaf Championship. Connor James has just left me breathless. The shit, the match still going on though. And big low blow by Connor James. I wouldn't expect anything less out of that guy. And Al Cabrera, big reverse DDT by Al. Connor James though grabbing Al. Surfboard stretch. If Connor James can make Al tap out right here to a surfboard stretch, Al with a big headbutt to Connor James though. No. I just can't. What a match already, guys. What an opening contest here at NAW 4. Al Cabrera now taking out Connor James still. Johnny D almost the odd man. Oh! The monster trap! Get a one count only. Look, Connor James is looking for a saving grace. Nails it. One, two, and Johnny D almost becoming champion. Connor James, I don't know if he almost let one slip or what happened right there. Connor James, I don't think he's going to get the pin with Al standing up right there. This triple threat match, only one of these guys can win this match. Connor James knocking Johnny D on his side. Wait a second, Al Cabrera looking for that. Cabrera Bugaloo! Nail in the Cabrera Bugaloo! Johnny D in the corner! One! Two! 
three, Al Cabrera will defend the championship. Al Cabrera is still the Maple Leaf champion. What a little match right there. Al Cabrera pins Connor James. Will that shut Connor up? Or I don't know if anything will ever shut Connor, Connor James up, but what a match. None of these guys have nothing to be ashamed about again. Johnny D, Connor James, Al Cabrera comes out, delivers one hell of a match in the first match, in the opening contest, and we still got three matches to go. This Maple League Championship always producing great matches, I must say. You, the strange pairing of seeing Al Cabrera and Johnny D, just everything of Connor James team with both those guys, it's weird. But, but Al Cabrera gets to raise that championship high because Al Cabrera has defended the, the Maple Leaf Championship once again at NAW4. Actually, not once again because this is his first defense of the championship. Al Cabrera. Big things are going to happen in NAW for Al Cabrera, and it looks like this Maple Leaf Championship's a good start. Connor James, Johnny D, nothing to be ashamed about tonight. Connor James still in the U.S title tournament with LaMarcus Carter, let's not forget. Uh, speaking of tag team, title, tag team matches, we got the bloodline, Biff and Jay, Zach Star taking on Mark Valander and Butch Simpson, and it's going to take place right now. And here comes Biff and Zach Star, sporting a little bit of a different look, it looks like. First time I've seen them wear something like this, well, Star, I've seen them wear something like that in the past. Biff, though, Looks like he's, uh, <laughs> we're going to remember this shirt forever, I think, everybody. Oh, the Biff t-shirt. The Biff t-shirt, I'll never catch on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Biff. I think, I, I think we're going to tell you this shirt next week. Well, the bloodline getting ready. My cousin, Zach Starr. Biff Andreas, one of my good friends in car. You're going to take on Mark Valander, who's... Mike Va Sorry, Mike Valander, who's also looked very different tonight. Mike Valander also coming out with a little different look tonight. A little more it's crazier look. What's going on with Mike Valander? Looks like he's seeing things that hasn't have happened. And things that took place that obviously did that didn't. I don't know, but Mike Valander looking a little crazy tonight. Pointing up. What you pointing up for, Mike Valander? Well, Mike Valander, Wayne his tag team partner, Butch Simpson. These two guys still in the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. The bloodline was knocked off by Stephen Rain and Andrew Liana. Butch Simpson making his way down in the ring. These guys are going to... Well, the Butch, Butch Simpson and Mike Valander are in the fraternity. And if you were to put all eight remaining teams left in that tournament and, the, you, and just look at them in a list, you would say the fraternity is probably the least fair to win that match. So they, they might get the... Uh, they, they might have the easy week. Don't forget those tournament matches are going to be starting on Underground right after this AEW 5 show. So in the, next, in the next coming week, you should see the rest of the, of the next four matches of the tournament. Butch Simpson, though, the tournament that, that, that that's after an AW4. Right now, we got four matches, and we got four men ready to compete. Big match here for all four of these superstars, because this is uh once again with these records counting, these guys are almost in the same area, same boat right now. Zach Starr and Biff and Jerry still are definitely call legends. Mike Valander, uh, still working on his name and call, and Butch Simpson, former Mountain Range champion, former tag team champion a few times, but. Not, 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 nothing like you could say would, would deem himself as great in call. And there's Danny Jackpot laying down the law on Butch Simpson right there. Kind of sad. As Mike Valander and Butch and Biff. I like Biff's tights though. Biff's tights are pretty, pretty rocking right now. I like that. Biff coming out with some longer tights. Different look for Biff. Hopefully, this is, hopefully it means good things for Biff tonight. And Zach. I'm a Mike Valander fan, though. The last time we see Mike Valander, he lost in that Frenzy Fiesta Championship. And that's when he, that's when he sported a little bit of a different look coming out, too. I think I, I think he's found one that's going to stick. 
because he's almost shaved almost half his head it looks like off now Biff Andreas big back suplex on Mike Valander there nails it You gotta imagine what a loss for either team would do right here. Mike Valander and Butch would still move on to the tournament, but Biff and Zack Starr. Oh, frustrating. Frustrating. I don't think Zack Starr's picked up a victory yet since being in AEW. Butch Simpson with a big overhead suplex on Zack. Zack Star spin wheel kick on Butch. And then spinning neck breaker on Butch Simpson there. Don't forget, we still got Aussie Andy and Lamarcus Carter. Winner of that match going to take on Al Cabrera for the Maple Leaf Championship in AEW 5. Butch Simpson delivering that. Axe handle to the face of Zack Star. That's a that's a devastating little move right there. Oh, and like a spinning drop drop kick there by Zack Star. My cousin Zack. Biff Andreas, Zack Star using their veteran like experience here in call. Like it or hate it, folks, it gets the job done. And Biff now, Zack Star double teaming Butch Simpson. Don't forget, no matter what, Butch and Mike moved on to the tournament. Zack and Biff did it. Zack and Biff could use a huge win against these two. No matter what, though, they don't get that tournament shot. And now Zack and Biff working over Butch in the corner. Doing what veterans do in call. Super kick by Biff and Jarius. Biff now looking for the wave of the future. Will he nail it? There it is. Wave of the future by Biff Andreas. Match is going to be over. One. Whoa. And Butch kicks out. Butch Simpson somehow kicks out of the wave of the future. And poor Biff Andreas, free, hashtag free Biff, hashtag free Biff, hashtag free Biff, hashtag free Biff. Sorry, I had to get that out there. We got Biff Andreas and Mark Valander now in the ring. I'm surprised Bush Simpson kicked out of that wave of the future. I'm honestly a little shocked. What about Biff right now? How shocked do you think he is, everybody? Michinoku Driver by Mike Valander. Job kick by Biff Andreas. It's got to be hard to for Zach Star to sit there sometimes and watch Biff maybe lose lose out lose his control right there. Cause I think after after that way the future kick go. Whoa, Zach Star! Wait a second, getting out muscled by Mike Gallander there. Mike Gallander showed off some power and strength before here and in AEW and new in AEW in the past. A former OPW Hardcore Champion is Mike Valander. And what's Mike Valander got planned? Zack Star though. Reversal. Star. Hurricane Rana. One. With the roll. Don't only get no. Only get a one. And what's going on here? Mike Valander's got Zack Star and not going for a superplex. Oh, he nails the superplex! Now just pounding on Zack Star's face. Zack Star though, I rake. Trying to get the upper hand, but Mike seems to be out. Out, out powering, not maneuvering Zack Star tonight. And wait a second, the tag to Biff. Biff, nail it, Mike. No, Mike ducks. Biff, 
second wave of the future and we got a one two butch breaks it up oh biff butch broke it up i'm sorry biff i'm sorry oh no biff getting double teamed by butch and mike poor biff poor biff no no Valander just stomping on biff's rib cage one, two, Star breaks it up. What a tag team match here on NAW5. Or NAW4 score, sorry. <laughs> Already getting ahead of myself here. Big uppercut. Now he stomped in the ribs. Biff Andreas is down. Biff Andreas. Again. Just, j oh, what a, he's driving Biff down to the mat. Pure strength and muscle. Biff kicks out. Yeah, free Biff Andreas. No, Biff Andreas, no! Biff just gets nailed with a hell of an uppercut. One, two, three. Valander beats Biff. Valander and Butch beat the bloodline. Oh my god, what have I just witnessed? This is an upset. I don't care what anyone says. This is an upset. Mike Valner has just beat Biff and Jays. One, two, three, and a and and a, and a, and a, and a wrestling ring. No way. No way. What have I just witnessed? I am shocked. Mike Valner, Butch Simpson. One hell. Uh, I got those. That t that team might be something in that tournament, guys. Oh my God. <coughs> They beat the Dark Carnival in the first round. The team of puckin' bonkers, and that was bonkers. <laughs> that was real bonkers. But but this is real. This this is crazy. This is nuts. They just beat the Bloodline. Biff Andreas, Zack Star. What a win for Butch. What a win for Mike. This is Mike's biggest win in his career, I think. Oh. Wow. I'm amazed. We gotta move on. Lamarcus Carter versus Aussie Andy. Oh, I'm just. What did we just witness? What just happened? Oh, Lamarcus Carter making his way down in the ring, and I just I gotta move on from that. Lamarcus Carter versus Aussie Andy. I gotta give you a little backstory. We got Aussie Andy won the six-man battle royal, and AEW three is not enough to take on Mason Chronic for a chance to be in the world title match. And what happens right after that match? Lamarcus Carter assaults him, attacks, and nails him. Well, now these two have a shot to face each other. Aussie Andy's got a shot at revenge, but the winner of this match is gonna get a shot at the Maple Leaf Championship. Lamarcus Carter doing big things, I know, in CAW. Lamarcus Carter's been doing big things since he's been in the game. Once beat me for a championship a long time ago. Lamarcus Carter. But here comes a man who I have big things planned. I'm big things. I think I think a man who has big plans. He has told me I'm sorry that I totally screwed that up. A man who has told me he has big plans here in, in, in AEW, and tonight he plans on start and doing it with the Maple Leaf Championship, or getting a shot at the Maple Leaf Championship. Ossiani didn't, didn't call me a bloke this time, so I feel like we're getting a better relationship. As Austin, as Austin Andy and Lamarcus Carter, after Austin Andy probably heard what I just said, he's probably going to call me a bloke, but these two men, Austin Andy got a chance for revenge, this match is about to start right now, Austin Andy with the uh, Australian whip into the turnbuckle, with a big forearm smash on Lamarcus Carter, one on one, nothing special about this match other than a pure, well, revenge for, for Austin Andy and a chance for a championship in both, Lamarcus Carter though, He's a, he's not he's a he's not a, an easy cookie to crack. Trust me. I do have. I do think both men are gonna do great things in, in new new in AEW. As Lamarcus Carter, snake eyes on uh, Aussie Andy.
The big main event still coming tonight. Lester Barkley, Extreme Tony, and AEW Champion. My Mason Chronic, the, the Crusade, six man tag. Big implications on NAAW 5. I, I that, That's going to be something to talk about. That's something to see. Aussie Andy, big back suplex on LaMarcus Carter. LaMarcus Carter and Connor James have successfully teamed up and they're going to take on the team of Aussie Andy and Sean Dynasty in the tournament uh, up for the United States Tag Team title, don't forget. So, not only will these two men face uh, see each other in this match tonight, these those two men will see each other with their respective partners in the tournament and uh, in the tag team tournament still. So this will be the last time these two men will face off. Connor James who was unsuccessful earlier tonight in the Maple Leaf Championship. Now what if, now what if he would have won and Lamarcus would have won? That would have been an interesting real concept right there. But that would have been a high and that, that would have been a possibility. As No, not the announce table again. Come on, Aussie. I, I understand the revenge he wants to Lamarcus no. Aussie Andy! Come on, Aussie! He's got he's putting Lamarcus on the table! What's he got planned for Lamarcus Carter? Aussie Andy! He's gonna drive Lamarcus to the table! He did it! Oh my god! A car out victory would work too! As a set present six! Oh my god, driving Lamarcus to the table! Seven! Lamarcus is up! Aussie Andy! Getting the fans behind him! Oh! Big forearm smash to Lamarcus Carter! He just got back in the ring before an eight count! Aussie Andy is dominating Lamarcus Carter, you might say! Looking for the steamroller, and Aussie Andy Carr stop the steamroller! I haven't seen many people ever stop the steamroller! He didn't stop at that time, though! The steamroller on Aussie Andy! See, a lot of men put down with this move. Two count only on some. Oh my god, Aussie Andy kicked out! Lamarcus Carter steamrolls over opponents. And, that, and then the, the money maker, though, I don't think Austin Andy's going to kick out of this. One, two. Austin Andy kicked out of the money maker. Oh my God. What a match already. What a singles match here. The, the, with the, a number one contender for the Maple Leaf Chain. I told you that bell. When that's just even thought about, it brings up great matches. It makes greater matches happen. And, oh, I haven't seen this in a while. Us, C, Andy, and the kick. That Aussie kick. Aussie Andy delivering it to LaMarcus Carter. Oh, these two men fighting, brawling, Ref whoa, referee getting in the, Connor James throwing LaMarcus Connor chair, I seen that, what is that, the referee was, the referee didn't see it, a steel chair used by LaMarcus Connor, what, what, one, two, three, no, LaMarcus Connor and Connor James just cheated off the Andy. Oh, LaMarcus Carter versus Al Cabrera for the Maple Leaf Championship is going to happen. But that's not how you want to see it go down. No. No. Oh, we got the six-man tag team main event about to start. But that was not how you wanted to see that match go. That's a shame. Ossiani got robbed. Here comes, well, the... The, the men who started off in AEW with a bang. The Crusade. Destroyed Mason Chronic. Future World Champion. Uh, got attacked on the, the Underground 2 episode. But unfortunately, in AEW, call, tamed these men and calmed these men. Told them, we give you guys a job. And unfortunately, Crusade have had to that listen. And they're trying to do things a little less unprovocative because what a roster there is. And they've realized... That the talent list is endless and they might need to calm their role. Unfortunately for the Crusade, though, they still, unfortunately for the Crusade, they still have each other and they have each other's back. 
And that and that's and that's been since day one with all these guys almost. I've never seen these men turn on each other or anything like that. Norm Daly, TJ Nicholson, Joe Omega, the Crusade. Joe Omega the, is going for that world heavyweight championship shot. Joe Omega says he got robbed his, and this is his chance to get this get a get a world heavyweight championship shot. Because don't forget when they take when they attack Mason Chronic at, at at second in command. They not only ruined the main event, they also they also cost Joe, Joe Omega his own world heavyweight title shot. As here comes the NAW world heavyweight champion, the NAW champion right now, Mason Chronic, the North American Elite Wrestling Champion. The top of the the top of the food chain here in NAW is Mason Chronic, undefeated here in NAW. Won the fatal four way with Lamarcus Carter. Are won the fatal four with Lester Barkley, Extreme Tony, and TJ Nicholson. Lamarcus Carter was not part of that match. Sorry. I must say, Mason Chronic is a, is one heck of a world champion to have for our first for our first ever champ, the first ever champion. No one's ever going to be able to take that away from Mason Chronic, no matter what. As here comes one of his tag team partners, a man who has moved on with Lester Barkley in the tag team United States Tag Team Title Tournament, the Playmaker Extreme Tony, a uh, call legend, a call veteran, ten years plus behind this man in experience. Trust me, I know it. I've known this man longer than almost half. I've almost known this man for half my life now. Extreme Tony. Extreme Tony, the playmaker, uh, former tag team champion, world champion, uh, won multiple championships in CCL, NA, New NAW, XGWL. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me again as I cough there. Sorry, I coughed in the microphone, guys. Extreme Tony, the playmaker. You gotta love Tony. Tony was this close to becoming world champion at Mason Chronic. Isn't it strange how well the same enemy could make you the the, the, the friends or or maybe just common allies? I don't know what Lamarcus Carter or, or Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony consider themselves, but they are a tag team, and I know that they are in the second round of the United States Tag Team Tower Tournament, and they will get to take on the team of the Damage Gauge. Could you imagine Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony versus Suspect and Matt Icorn's gonna happen? That that's exciting. That that is exciting. Uh, Lester Barkley has won the CXWI Rumble. Let's not forget that 30-man Rumble we would, we talked about. We were we were helping promote for CXWI. Not really helping promote, but we're mentioning that CXWI does need does not need no help from NAEW. Trust me, they're their own brand and they're great. Lester Barkley. Uh, got a chance here to get a chance for a, get, gets a chance here to be for a world heavyweight title shot. Don't forget if Extreme Tony or Lester Barkley get the pinfall on one of these guys, they will get a shot at the world heavyweight championship at NAW five. At the same time, if the Crusade wins, then Joe Omega will get a shot at NAW five. And finally, if well, Mason Chronic gets a pinfall tonight, he gets Joe Omega in a cage non-title. All kind of implications behind the six-man tag team match here tonight. That sinister mask that Lester Barkley wears. As this match is underway, we got Norm, Norm the Storm Daly and Mason Chronic starting off the six-man tag team match. And what a match this just should be. The Crusade. Oh, look at that. Back up with Mason Chronic knocks off TJ Nicholson on... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have to cough again. There we go. Miss a crime with a Russian leg sweep on Norm the Storm Daily. Gotta be cheering for the NAEW guys because I don't know if the Crusade really rocks NAEW, if they just rock their own little world there. But I gotta be cheering for Extreme Tony, Mason Chronic, and Lester Barkley against the Crusade here tonight. I do like Joe, though. I do like TJ. I do like Norm. Hmm.
Anyways, we got a, we got this match still going on. As Mason Chronic, Norm the Storm Daily locked up. Big scoop slam by Norm the Storm. Two guys now fighting for position. Norm the Storm with a big shoulder tackle on Mason Chronic, the world champion. The NAW champion. As Joe Omega gets tagged in the ring. Norm the Storm, or Extreme Tony gets tagged in the ring. Extreme Tony and Joe Omega about to lock up. Tony with a big drop kick on Joe. Extreme Tony, Joe Omega. This, this two, these two would have a great match together, I bet. As we got a new NAW sign in the audience again. Woo! Gotta love new NAW. Still alive, still, still alive and well. Got page 43 coming out, new NAW. On this very channel alone. Let's not forget. Extreme Tony Joe Omega still locked up here. Big, big, uh, man, I can't believe it. I dropped toe hole. I almost forgot the name of that move. I dropped toe hole by Extreme Tony, but a shoulder tackle knocking down Extreme Tony by Joe Omega. The Crusade using more of a physical offense here tonight, I see. Oh, low drop kick by Joe. Smart, taking Tony down by the knees. The Don't forget, oh, sling blade by Tony, though. I was going to say, the legs of Tony would be a great, I think, the best thing to work on. Swinging neck breaker by Joe Omega, and the Crusade is fired up in the corner. Joe Omega taking it to Tony. Oh, sling blade again, though, by Extreme Tony. The main event here of NAW4. TJ Nicholson getting tagged in the ring. TJ Nicholson had a chance to become world champion. All guys on the right side of the ring right now. TJ, Tony, Norm, or TJ, Tony, Lester, and Mason all competed for the first, and uh, competed in the first ever World Heavyweight Championship match. No one could ever take that away from TJ Nicholson. As Lester Barkley in the ring with a flying clothesline on TJ Nicholson. Leg drop on TJ. I, what, what, what kind of great matches I would see with all six of these guys all taking each other on one-on-one -on -one situations, even partners. I'm just saying, like, NAEW has a lot to be look, look excited and look forward to in the future. And I'm really happy about I'm really happy to say that. We got, don't forget, NAEW 5, Maple Leaf Championship match, don't forget. We're going to have... Lester Bar or, or, or Marcus Carter take on Al Cabrera. We're, we're going to get our NAW5 main event out of this match tonight. Well, we already got big things planned for the future in NAW, and we got big things going on in the present. Well, Marcus Carter, Norm Daly in the ring. I mean, <laughs> Lester Barkley, Norm Daly in the ring. I am sorry for the screw up of L's all night. And I am the storm by Norm the, Norm the Storm Daly. I am the storm. The Crusade got the upper hand in this match easily. That's what a solid click of three great friends, guys who have each other's back, will do. I, be I, I truly believe the Crusade is going to be a dominant force. Looking for the bone through, but Mason Chronic was able to stop it. TJ. Was looking for that bone through. I know he was. Mason Chronic might have just saved Lester Barkley's just vertebrae right there. Lester getting a two count on TJ Nicholson. And TJ the flying neck breaker on Lester. Big tall man like that. And wait a second. Looking for the bone through again. Oh, not the vertebrae. Oh, the vertebrae. Oh. The bone through by the breaker. One, two. Lester kicked out. Lester kicked out. Tony did not break that up. Lester kicked out of a vertebraker. Oh my God. 
He was busted open somehow because of that burnt move. Oh my god! What happened? Lester Barkley, that tough son of a gun! Lester Barkley now powering up. Joe Omega though trying to stop him in his tracks. Lester Barkley no. No, knock him down, Joe. Lester Barkley delivering some offense. Big clothesline. What's he doing, Joe? Duck the clothesline on Joe. Big back suplex on Joe. And what's he looking for here? Spine Buster! Lester Barkley got Joe down. Joe now getting up. Mason Chronic and Joe in the ring. This could be your NAEW five main event. Oh my god. Joe Omega now taking it to Mason Chronic. Tilt the world slam. What's he doing here? Cobra clutch like Manuma. Oh, and dropping him with a leg sweep. Choking him out with the with some kind of submission and a leg sweep by Joe Omega. A master of sleepers, but only getting a two. I don't know if that was broken up or what. Oh, Joe Omega was looking for that big old move. I was finishing maneuver, but no, the guy like the, the God. I I screwed that up, Joe. I'm sorry. Either way, he's looking for his submission. He was looking for his finisher. I'm just so excited. The team Extreme Tony and Mason Chronic actually now working together. Wow. Just what a six man tag. What a show. I'm sorry for the for the for just the the misacknowledgement of that, Joe. And we got Extreme Tony and Joe still in the ring. Tony knocking Joe. No, Joe knocking out Tony. Surprise Chronic or to Lester Barkley didn't take a shot there at Joe. And we got now Norm Daly and Extreme Tony, the two legal men in this match. They were former tag team champions at one point together, actually. Would you believe that? Extreme Tony and Norm the Storm Daly were former champions together. As Perfect Storm on! Oh! The Perfect Storm on Lester Barkley by Norm Daly! One, two, no! Tony breaks up the Perfect Storm on Lester Barkley. And yeah, I gotta believe that would be it. Lester can only take so much offense. He's stuck in so much tonight already. The Crusade working like a perfect click here tonight, I must say. Surfboard stretch by Norm the Storm Daily, but Tony breaks it up. And we got a full Nelson now by Norm the Storm Daily. But broken up by both men members of Lester Barkley's team. Norma Storm and Lester now teaming up. What is this going to be? Oh! Slamming Norm the Storm on their knees. The teamwork by Lester, Mason, and Extreme Tony has also been pretty well do documented here tonight. And Lester Barkley looking for that big slam, his finisher. But no! That what a slam maneuver. Oh! Norm the Storm, what the? He just crashed and burned though. Mason Chronic gets the tag, knocking no, no, he didn't knock Norm down. Mason Chronic though getting the best of Norm right now. Big, big McNeil chin lock there by, by Mason Chronic. Yeah, I don't think he knows who Paul McNeil is. Wait, Joe Nell and his finisher on Tony in the corner there. The Crusade. What a what a unit these guys are. Mason Chronic. Oh wait a second, no the storm kips up. Mason Chronic with a big drop kick though, stopping Norman his tracks. Who's gonna Mason Chronic's actually got a pinfall attempt? One in the wrong corner, I think Mason Chronic made that. What's this here? Surfboard like maneuver now by Mason Chronic. Submission. TJ breaks it up. 
Only one of these guys are gonna get a world heavyweight title shot. Or maybe Mason Craig will just get Joe Omega one on one in a cage. We don't know. TJ, you the a tag. Mason Chronic ducks TJ's big clothesline. TJ, big flying neck breaker. Extreme Tony grabs TJ. The car veteran. Mason Crown with the back suplex on TJ Nicholson. Looking for a three count. One, two, only in a two. The Crusade was right there to break it up once again. TJ with that Russian leg sweep. That finish leg sweep. He would like me to call that probably. Yeah, TJ. That finish leg sweep. TJ now looking for Mason Chronic. Looking for a big finisher. Oh my god, what a maneuver. I forgot what that was called right now again. But I have to relearn the Crusades finishers. I'm sorry guys, they got so many of them and so many good ones. So many moves that end the guy. Stream Tony breaks that up though. That would have been definitely been it for Mason Chronic, I believe. Uh, Lester Barkley now getting the tag here. TJ and Lester Barkley another legal men. TJ snaps up. Big two clotheslines. Lester Barkley has taken so much damage in this match. I'm surprised they tagged Lester back in. Oh, Wes. What a move on. What a move on Lester by TJ, the bigger guy. Getting slammed in the match. One, two, three. TJ wins the match for Joe Omega gets a title shot. The Crusade have won. And the black and white is back. What? The Crusade have won this match. NAW 4 is over? Wow! I don't want this to end! You're kidding me! What, what a six man tag team match! I'm looking forward to NAW 5 already! We got the United States Tag Tile Tournament coming up in the next two undergrounds! Whoa! Does that mean we might, we might have a United States Tag Tile match on NAW 5? I don't know, but the Crusade has guaranteed Joe Omega, Mason Chronic, NAW 5 World Heavyweight Championship match! NAW5, also an NAW5, Maple Leaf Championship, LaMarcus Carter takes on Al Cabrera. What two big matches we have already announced for the next show. These three guys, these three guys have picked up a hell of a win against three impressive talent, including the world champion who has just took his first loss here in NAW. Good night, everybody, from Danny Jackpot and the rest of the roster. We say good fight. Good night.